you know, when it's because of capital, for them, their interest is in profit making. Mm -hmm. But now for the indigenous uh, or the local communities, there is so much culture, heritage, history. But can you really compensate someone for their loss of identity? My name is Manel Mpofu. I'm a legal officer with the Zimbabwe Environmental Law Association. In terms of uh, the strategies that we employ uh, within Zela, you'll find that an important component uh, of our strategy where we engage the companies or entities that may be in violation uh, of uh, human rights or the rights of communities uh, to find avenues before approaching the courts uh, such that we might find common ground or common basis for those communities and the company to work together before things uh, proceed further uh, towards uh, litigation. But once all has failed, there is always that avenue whereby we can approach the courts, your high court, our supreme courts, and the constitutional courts, especially if it's issues that touch on uh, fundamental uh, human rights. Companies can come to an area without doing adequate due process or following you know, the substantive rights of communities. Ultimately, there, there is conflict that then arises. In 2020, there was a case that happened in Wange where in, uh, a foreign uh, company was given a special grant to mine within a national park. Uh, and we see that uh, this is a continuing kind of um, exercise that is happening whereby companies are looking for exploration uh, within, you know, say, uh, national heritage sites or world heritage sites basically because most recently this year, 2023, uh, two months ago, there is a company uh, which wanted to actually mine within the pristine mana pools wow. uh, area. Yes. But through Zella's efforts, we did file an urgent application to interdict uh, stopping uh, the mining uh, in the national park. Um, before it could get to its uh, logical conclusion, government reverted its decision through a policy pronouncement. And this also speaks uh, highly. I think as Zella, we are a public interest law organization and we are very interested in legislative advocacy to ensure that whatever initiatives that we do, we do not come across as if we are playing worker more to actually challenge uh, the, Mi uh, the Mines and Minerals Act that actually grants that kind of authority for mining companies to be given access to uh, national parks our national parks are very important for biodiversity issues, you know, our wildlife. You know, when it's because of capital, for them, their interest is in profit making. But now for the indigenous uh, or the local communities that have inhabited those areas for a prolonged period of time, there is so much culture, heritage, history that, it has, that is attached to the land uh, those people stay in. And when a company comes, of course we say there are some due processes they have to follow, maybe we say in the form of compensation. But can you really compensate someone for their loss of identity when you move them from one place to the other? And sometimes we find that wherever they are moved to, they do not gain the same kind of service delivery uh, that they would have been getting from where they were settled when it comes to access to water. And now you find that people have to walk long distances and most of the time in terms of our society, uh, some of these roles are, are left to uh, you know, what they would deem maybe vulnerable groups or women uh, and children to walk long distances to access water, which brings about a whole lot of issues as well.